Hi, welcome Libra. Today we're going to be doing your August reading from today, the 17th, all the way to the 31st, so stay tuned. All right, um, please remember this is a general reading, only take what resonates. Thank you everyone who has subscribed to my channel. Show love. I appreciate you guys. Much love. Okay, so I'm getting like an image here of someone like chasing you, running after you, or you running after someone. Okay, this is the energy I'm getting here. Like, somebody is watching you here, Libra. And I feel like, or you have been watching this person. You know that they're coming towards you. You, you could have been trying to manifest this person. But let's see what's going on here. What's the overall energy for Libra in the month of August, Spirit? Archangel Michael, please protect my energy as I do this reading. Yeah, this could be a friend, okay? Dreams. So I feel like a lot of people are dreaming about you or a specific person or you could be. What's the overall energy here for Libra? Okay, we have confidence, life purpose, and boundaries. Yeah, that came up. You could be dealing with a Gemini here because confidence just came up for Gemini. So yeah, something about your confidence here, okay? You guys are really appearing more confident, more aware, more harmonious with yourself, with your body, okay? I'm hearing that Beyonce song, I Could See Your Halo. So somebody may think like you're an angel, okay? Um, yeah, it's like you've built, somebody has built walls or you have built walls around this love connection. And somebody either wants you to take them down or they are coming down. Okay, what's the overall energy here? I'm getting so many downloads. What's the overall energy here for Libra and Sister Story, guys? Please come through. Overall energy for Libra. Okay, we have prosperity. Bottom of the deck, we have forgiveness. So, yeah, I'm telling you, somebody's running over here to come towards you and ask for forgiveness. I feel like you're getting some type of prosperity, glow up, outlook, okay, um, as well. So your prosperity is looking very good. Like I said, there's something about you glowing. More people are watching you. I feel like there's many blessings. You're going to feel very blessed for sure. You're going to feel very blessed if you've been dealing with some money issue here. My love, you about to be blessed. So it's fair to say, don't worry about that. And we have the tower on the bottom. So this could be just some sudden wealth here. I'm also getting like somebody from the past literally coming to over here to charm you. They're going to leave either write you a message, set up a date, buy you flowers, begging for forgiveness here. Okay. Let's see what's going on with you, Libra. And your person. All right, Spirit. Clarify prosperity here, Libra, real quick. Clarify prosperity for Libra. Yeah. Five of Pentacles. Somebody here has been dealing with money issues. Okay? But I feel like there's a lot of abundance now with the Ace of Cups. It's like there's a, a windfall of money here now. This is like... Ooh, okay. I just heard the moment you forgive yourself, it's when all these money and collaborations will come towards you too. Yeah, it's like forgiveness was blocking your blessings here, okay? Not forgiving somebody or resenting something with your emotion. This was blocking your prosperity. You had to open your heart and allow this love back in. This to forgiveness with yourself too. This could have been you feeling guilty within yourself. And it was blocking your abundance because you had this, um, perhaps you grew up in lack right so you always your parents your family never had enough and so you didn't believe in that but something is changing here now with the money is pouring on you and so you're going from like living paycheck to paycheck barely having enough to even homeless i feel like some of you guys have even been homeless here or feeling at the risk of losing your home there's something about a key here and you're not opening this key it's like there's prosperity waiting for you, but some of you guys are still in this five of pentacle energy where it's like you feel left out in the cold, you feel abandoned, 
you feel like you're not enough or this person, okay? But like with this eight of wands, it's like things are really going to come fast towards you because you're, you're healing yourself, okay? You're loving yourself. And I feel like you also, there's a love here that you need to forgive. This could be a friendship, a family member, uh, a lover. Take it how it resonates. But I feel like this could be somebody that made you feel like shit basically but now it's like this ace of cups you're you're gonna have so much that you can give to others here okay because you're giving to yourself it's like how can you be abundant if you're not giving to yourself right yeah king of pentacles there's some sort of abundance coming towards you here so get out of that lack mentality you are enough and you have enough People want to collaborate with you right now, okay, Libra? I'm seeing collaboration here, Three of Pentacles. This could be through something with work, okay? Um, you could be getting some type of race or just if it's a, if it's a talent here, you're getting um, some sort of partnership, collaboration. Uh, this could be, what is that called? Advertising. I'm hearing advertising. You could be into fashion here, but whatever you're doing, whatever you're working on with others or you're about to be, <clears throat> it's going to bring you prosperity. I feel like it took you a while. You've been working on something here very slow. You've been sowing something, reaping what you sow, I'm hearing. And I feel like you've been feeling hopeless. Like, when is it going to take off? Okay, I see prosperity coming to you here. We have five of swords. So I feel like there's some people at work around you here, uh, Libra, that could be like jealous of you feeling very competitive okay what is this five of swords i'm also hearing there's need to be forgiveness here because there was someone else in the picture here you have to give yourself love because somebody else was in the way of this love here what's this five of swords Five of Swords for Libra. Yeah, you're following your intuition now. What's this Five of Swords for Libra? Three of Wands. Somebody's seen you expand. I feel like you turned your back to somebody. And it's causing conflict in this life. It's causing jealousy. Yeah, there's, there's jealousy here when this prosperity comes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys are going to have some sort of wish fulfillment here, Libra, where you're going to have enough to give back to people. Okay, you've been investing in this. Okay. Fire and fire forgiveness here for Libra. What needs forgiveness? Eight of Pentacles. So yeah, again, this is that prosperity here. Something you're working on in your job could be an entrepreneurship, a craft, some sort of art that you have. Could be a spiritual business for some of you. <clears throat> could be making quilts. Okay, it could be making crystals candles herbs whatever it is okay whatever your career is it's going to bring you a lot of success but let's get into the love part spirit yeah i'm getting like you work with this person some of you guys work with this person and they want to collaborate with you because they see you expanding okay that's why this is coming up for some of you okay so forgiveness somebody wants forgiveness because they made you feel like an option Mm -hmm. Like I said, you walked away. Somebody made you feel like an option. This masculine or feminine, okay? Felt like you were easily accessible. I see a snake here. So this person was, um, could have been deceptive, but I'm hearing like they were under the illusion that there was someone out there that could possibly be better than you. Clarify forgiveness with the Seven of Cups. Spirit for Libra. Two of Pentacles, yeah. This person had options. A charmer. I'm hearing this person knows how to talk to people. We have Sagittarius energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Ooh, Ten of Swords. Yeah, this, things ended pretty roughly here. That's where there needs to be forgiveness. Like, this person could have betrayed you with this Five of Swords. Wow, yeah, I'm seeing 333, which came up in Gemini's reading. 
Ten of Swords. Somebody's worried here, though. They're stressing. Because they want forgiveness. They can't sleep at night. This person can't sleep at night. They feel overwhelmed. Worried. Imbalanced. So somebody's trying to find balance. They feel like you balance them out. The Star, Aquarius Energy, and the Hierophant Taurus. Okay, so yeah, you could be a spiritual teacher, have some sort of public uh, channel here, okay? This person is being guided back to you with this temperance card here. And the star card speaks of healing. So you could be a healer or this person is really hoping that you can forgive them and they can heal things with you. I feel like somebody... The person that you're dealing with here with the Ten of Swords has some sort of commitment issue or was in a marriage or commitment and they had to end it in order to come towards you. And I feel like this person was such a terrible player here, guys, that like he or she was the type of person that like has so many options. They just always hurt and betray people, right, without a care. But suddenly you made this person start to care right and i'm hearing morals something this person didn't have any morals or they were just not doing something right while you are a star seed here like there's something very special about you very authentic about you here libra and so you're becoming more balanced because you are working on yourself you're healing yourself and you're also becoming more attractive here you're already beautiful but it's like you're going through some sort of glow up here you're shining this person really finds you attractive so with the Eight of Wands, I see things moving forward for you. I see a wish fulfillment coming towards you fast. There's something coming towards you fast. Um, definitely. And I feel like you've been praying or this person has been praying to message you, to hear from you. Seven of Swords. There we go. That's that betrayal, deception. That's that, you know, keeping secrets from you. Capricorn energy here. The devil. Okay, what's that about? You could be in the public eye here, getting money, doing something, collaborating with other people, working on your business, and this is why this person may want to come back. So for some of you, Spirit is saying, yeah, do not take back this person, okay? This is somebody that's very, very toxic, very sneaky, very manipulative, has, like, addictions and things here, like, toxic karmic here this is this is toxic i'm getting narcissist here king of cups somebody could be in love here pisces cancer scorpio what is that spirit what's all that dark energy with the seven of swords and, and the devil yeah but you're being protected by your spirit guides okay know that much five of cups Ooh. yeah either somebody wanted you to be sad and depressed and like just feel like a void like feel nothing or like literally this person feels tremendous deep regret okay for sneaking around juggling you and someone else or betraying you or stealing from you or even doing some sort of black magic here manipulation Clarify the star <coughs> for Libra. Yeah, this person is worried as fuck. <coughs> they're not doing good. I feel like they're dealing with some sort of karma here. You moved away from this person. You're like, I'm good without the drama, bro. Like, I'm good, right? Or sis, whatever. Um... But this person... They're crying. It's like, this person might feel like they're surrounded by a lot of negative energy. We have the Eight of Cups. So when you when you moved away or walked away, like this person did a lot of crying and they couldn't sleep because, you know, they just saw their happiness walk away. And I feel like they've learned a lot now. Yeah, you walked away. Or they, whatever, because there was a third party here. But they want to reconcile with you. Tell me more about this Nine of Swords. Yeah, somebody could be sexually even frustrated here with the 
uh, yeah. Somebody could be definitely sexually frustrated, and, on, and it's obviously your person. They're literally, like, having this inner conflict inside because, obviously, they're very attracted to you. But they're having nightmares. They're having nightmares where they have to compete for you, where other people are, are dating you, okay, or, like, want you. Clarify this line of swords. What's stressing this person out? Coffin. Okay? So, it's stressing them out. They feel like things are done. And there's nothing they can do to change that. They feel like things are ended. And maybe you won't want a new beginning. The way things ended is stressing this person out. Because they weren't making the healthy choices back then. And I feel like you did. You had to choose yourself again with that self-love in the beginning. You had to choose yourself. You started working on yourself. And it actually allowed you to ascend with that hierophant. Okay? I feel like you ascended any obstacles. Even though this person tried to stab you in the back, it made you stronger. It gave you wisdom. And, you know, it made you even awaken your healing powers here. It awakened you to your divinity, your north node. What else is going on here with this relationship? Heartbroken. Deeply hurt. Sad. Separation. Breakup. Okay? So, yeah. This person knows that, like, they broke up with you and so they're grieving right now. Like, they're just so fucking hurt because they didn't make the healthy choices. This person didn't. They didn't know what a healthy choice was. But this devil energy and the seven of swords, that's all toxic, lower vibrational energy. So this person is grieving you because they feel like, you know, this relationship died, basically. And they feel lost without you. I'm hearing that Robin Thicke. I'm lost without you. Can't help myself. How does it feel to know that I love you, baby? I'm lost without you. I can't help myself. Yeah. Yeah. Man, even that song took me a while. So, yeah, and it's like, now they're heartbroken. Like, fuck, why did I run away? Why did I listen to my ego? Why, why, why did I let her walk away? Why couldn't I tell him or her that I loved her, that she, he or she is my wish fulfillment, that everything, like, you know, I feel like you have everything that this person we needs. I don't know why I said weed. Maybe you smoke weed. I don't know why that just came through. Yeah, healthy choices. Somebody's letting go of weed here. Somebody is ending all types of toxicity here, okay? Um, and they're ready to transition and come and towards love, okay? Somebody is not afraid to run away from love anymore because they were used to having, like, one-night stands or something like that. And I felt like this person was also used to codependent relationships, so they had this fear of intimacy, and now they're like, fuck, why did I run away? Why? Why? Okay, they're asking all these questions and crying, specifically even in the nighttime here. Because they feel this tremendous amount of attraction and passion towards you here, Libra. We have heart with the key. Yeah, you hold the key to this person's heart. And look at the five of pentacles. So this person feels very left out in the cold by you. If you notice, this is a key and the door is right here. So it's like somebody is not using that key. Welcome, love. Meeting the one. Yeah, they felt like they met the one when they met you. Right? With the star. They felt like, wow, I met him or her. But they ran away. Things could have happened too fast. It's like somebody felt like they fell in love too fast. The moment they kissed you, it was like sparks. There was a lot of sparks flying here. A lot of like movie scene on your first date, like the first time you guys met. Or something about a party, a one night stand. Okay, we have paradise. But now this person is looking at you now like commitment. Okay, they've had this realization that, oh my gosh, like I actually have to fucking change. Okay, it hit them like a fucking ton of bricks. Like, dude, I have to transform. I have to change. I actually want to commit to someone, to something. And this is this person. She, he, or she is my healthy choice, right? This person was never used to making healthy choices. They were used to being around toxic individuals. But you're not. You're very healing. And so this person ran away from this because you triggered a lot of their childhood abandonment issues as well here. <clears throat> Okay. 
and you guys, yeah, you, you mirrored a lot of what this person was feeling. Okay. I want to know more about this devil here. Spirit, clarify the devil seven of swords. What was that? Concern. Yeah, this person might be concerned that like, you know, if they message you and they tell you the truth about their addictions and the things that they've done in the past, that you will ju judge them. Because with the Five of Cups, I feel like this is something in the past that they used to do. And they're just like sitting in a chair thinking, look at that 3-3 three, three again coming up. Okay, it's like, I don't know. Could have been Black Magic too here. Occupation. Okay, yeah, maybe this person is afraid to tell you about the kind of job that he or she does. Maybe stealing money or manipulating people. Every day I'm hustling. I'm hearing that song. <laughs> okay. Clarify this devil with the seven of swords for Libra here. Please, spirit, give us more tea. What's the devil with the seven of swords? Okay, we have community. Okay, so this person is known around the community, the black, the town, the hometown, whatever. Thief, okay, as a thief. Somebody could have been stealing here or had tendencies. Yeah, poverty. Somebody was stealing here because they're just like poor. Okay. I'm hearing steal from the rich, not from the poor. This person may be concerned because you also have your own job here, your own occupation. You have a community base. You could have a YouTube or a page <coughs> or something. <coughs> hmm. Courtship. Yeah, this person wants to be with you. And they're not doing so good without you here. Again, I'm lost without you, right? This person feels completely lost without you, like... Clarify the devil. Seven of swords. Endurance. Okay, so I'm here. Sticks and stones may break my bones. Mirror. Justice. Here you are. Okay. You're trying to bring justice here. Okay. Um, I really want to check with this evil eye deck here. What's this devil? Seven of swords. Five of cups. Spirit, what's this devil, seven of swords, five of cups? Yeah, heavy narcissist energy. Jesus Christ. Whoa, and all my cards just fell on the floor. Great. Congratulations, Mabel. Okay, I felt right on their competition. Again, somebody here might have been in competition with you. Because I feel like you get a lot of recognition. Um, a lot of people, like... Yeah, with that eight of wands, I feel like you got a lot of comments, a lot of likes, a lot of subscribers, a lot of clients. You're on fire up in here. Okay, what's this devil energy here? <coughs> Spirit, what's this devil energy for? <clears throat> Libra. <clears throat> Black woman. Whatever was holding you back has been removed. So whatever spells, whatever manipulation, whatever control this person or whatever thought that they had on you has been removed, right? This is why you guys had to be separated. Because someone still has some toxic things they had to get rid of. But Spirit is saying if you think that like somebody is psychically attacking you, it's all in your mind. All that evil eye stuff right now for some of you, okay? For others of you, spirit has already removed any dark magic that was done on you. <clears throat> Light magic. Someone is using spell work to work with good intentions. Yeah, you guys have a community here of people that love you. And I feel like they're praying for you and things like that, okay? So no need to worry about that, Libra, which is excellent. And to let you go, I'm going to use, uh, I guess, any last messages from this. So what action is this person taking? Crying loss. Okay, guys, like I told you, this person has been crying ever since you walked away. They really know what it's like, okay? Decisions, decisions. It's like this person is just thinking, like, what choice did I make? Decisions, decisions. Oh, my God, like, what do I have to do, you know? There's so many options. We have I hate you. 
and I'm hearing that song. <clears throat> I hate you, I love you, I hate that I want you, and nobody else above you. So yeah, it's like even though they have all these options, no one is you. And so they hate that because they feel like maybe you possess them or have some sort of control, right? I don't want to admit I'm wrong and prideful. So they did something wrong with the Seven of Swords and they just are not confident enough <clears throat> to come towards you and tell you that they're sorry. Though I do see an apology coming towards you here, okay? Tell me about this forgiveness before I let Libra go. Maybe, okay? This person could have been married with children, or you could be you could have been married with this person with children. We have private. So there's gonna be a private conversation between you and this person, okay? Alright, and let's finish up with some Cupid's messages to see how your person is what they're desiring. Let's see this here. We have confession, okay? I'm hearing confession by Usher. This is my confessions. This when I thought I'd say. All right, that's about all I know. <laughs> and she got away. Confession. I keep asking myself, why am I so afraid to tell you how I feel when I already tell it to others? Like this person talks about you to their friends, to their coworkers all the time, about how they miss you, how you just like gave a letter. You're not really talking or something like that. Okay, but this person wants to confess to you, like. You know, I love you. I just want to hear the sound of your laughing. <clears throat> Something about your energy is very upbeat, very fiery, shook, right? I woke up one day and I realized I'm madly in love with you. That's that lightning, shocking news. So this person, it shocked them now, right? Wanting. I need some discipline tonight. Yeah, I told you there's this sexual frustration here that came up last week and it's still happening now. Somebody literally still sexually frustrated. And they masturbate. You know, they masturbate to you and your pictures. <laughs> so we have holding back. Although I find myself very attracted to you, I'm trying not to go far. Right? So they've been holding back. Though you drive this person crazy wild, they've been holding back. <clears throat> From this fear of commitment or because there could have been someone else in the picture. There's a pain in my heart for every single moment we're apart. This person just wants to be with you. I'm wondering if you miss me as much as I miss you. Apology. I'm sorry I waited this long to apologize. <clears throat> so, yeah, I feel like, you know, you guys have been, it's a long, you know, a long, long outweighed here apology that you've been waiting with this patient card. You guys could have been waiting <clears throat> two years, two months, two weeks. And so this apology is coming towards you, right? Because this person now is determined to do anything for you. So, yeah, this is your reading, Libra. I hope this brought you love, light, healing. Peace out.